countries in the global south are falling into a vicious cycle of debt and austerity. High debt levels, coupled with a lack of resources and harsh conditions imposed by the IMF, force indebted countries to cut essential public services such as education and health. It is a painful situation that only exacerbates the multiple crises and that many countries undertake only to avoid or delay the messy and time-consuming process of debt restructuring. This involves negotiating with their creditors on debt cancellation or changing the debt payment conditions only to end up delaying default. When a country has to restructure its debts because it is facing difficulties repaying them, there is no set of common rules to follow, no multilateral body to mediate. Instead, the country has to navigate a labyrinth of negotiations with its creditors. Talks take place separately with the Paris Club, with other countries like China or India, with private lenders, with the IMF. Its success is not determined by objectivity, but by the negotiation skills of its lawyers. After months, or even years of negotiation, the result is often too little, too late in most cases, without any substantial debt cancellation. But what if there was a fairer and more comprehensive solution that takes into account the needs of a country to fight poverty, inequality, and climate change? A system based on known rules that works for the people and not just creditors. A multilateral debt resolution mechanism under the United Nations offering timely, transparent, binding, and comprehensive debt treatment for all the countries that need it. Join the global movement and advocate for a financial system that delivers a fair resolution for the debt crises.